And we're back. You're chilling with the game ghouls. I'm Ben on the sticks. Yo, I'm Nate on the bones. Playing Dead Space. Mo Dead Space, mo problems. God damn it. They've been doing a lot of dropping from the ceiling lately. Yeah, it's cheap as hell. Oh, tight. Where'd that guy even come from? The ceiling? Dude, another guy came out of the ceiling? Oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> it's getting kind of intimate there. That's how they get, dude. With your brain. And I'm out of plasma energy again. What do I even have? What do I have? Nothing. I really don't have anything. <laughs> what do you need, though? That's the question. More line racks, dude. Always more <laughs> line racks. Oh, here we go. I got some creds. I got some creds to burn. Got some loot to sell. Want that level five suit though. Yeah, we'll get there. I just gotta load up. Let me see how many that is. I want a good supply, you know, but I have no reference point for what I'm buying. Okay, so I have 47 rounds. Lo or plasma energy. Reload. Sounds like enough. I don't know. It's the most it's the most useful gun though. Just buy a few more, dude. Couple line racks, and we're good. Dude, this game would look pretty cool with uh, ray tracing. But I'm not going to buy the remake, dude. <laughs> Ever? I'll probably get it eventually. The next time I want to play Dark Souls, or Dark Souls, the next time I want to play Dead Space 1, I'm definitely not playing this version. I'll buy the fucking remake and play that. Shit, dude. We got two chapters left. I think. That's so many. <laughs> that chapter was called End of Days, and there's two more. I hate that guy. Yeah, me too. I don't even know who this guy is. Like, get the fuck off my fucking holocom, asshole. Quit FaceTiming me. If I was <laughs> Isaac, I'd block his number. What the hell was that? He didn't want to play. Remember that boss in Resident Evil 4 where uh, it, like, attacks you through the ceiling? Resident Evil 4. No, I don't. It's, like, one of the the castle dudes, like, right-hand, like, demon dudes or whatever. I remember those guys, but I don't remember the boss fight. Mm. It's a cool one. And nothing in this game compares to that one fight. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most memorable fight in Resident Evil 4 for me is the barn with what's his nuts, the big centipede guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's a good fight. It's like a it's like a desperate one, you know. Mm -hmm. 
It's a great game. That remake, I will buy. And I'm not sure. Day one. I'm not sure. I, you know, we, should we play it? Should we play it, dude? Um. Nah, I think you should just. Just play you it. Probably just experience it on your own, dude. Yeah. Callisto Protocol, though. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It looks just like Dead Space. How much more can they do? You know? Do you know, know if the shtick with Callisto Protocol is still cutting off limbs? I don't think it is. I think it's more about, like, dodging. This is close to the end. I remember this. Whatever this is. Yo, what? Did you see that? Yeah, dude. I've never seen those guys pop out of a fat man before. And the fat man's still alive. He was praying. Oh, wrong button. God damn it. I'm making bad decisions. <laughs> All right. Is that with the dudes? I thought the little dudes came out of these guys. All right. You're in the end game now, dude. Yeah. I don't really... I don't even know where I am. What, the cargo bay? The cargo bay? So... <clears throat> I have to, like... Um, I'm gonna, like... Summon the marker from the inventory or whatever. And then I have to, like... Move it along this track... While shit hits the fan. Necromorph wise. That's what I remember. The marker? Yes. The marker, dude. Retrieving cargo. I gotta remember the button to snatch it. There it is. Yeah, dude. That's the marker? Oh, yeah. It's very hellish. It is. The music's very, like, um... It's very, like, classic horror, you know? Mm-hmm. So Looks like something out of Doom. Dude. Whoa, shit! Oh, I forgot about this. Endgame stuff. Oh, shit! What is going on right now? Uh... <laughs> oh, damn. Dude, my intestines were just dangling. Yeah, I was fucked up. Gave you a slobber knocker. All right. All right, dude. Left is uh, line gun. Up is plasma cutter. Right is contact beam. What about the ripper, dude? We sold it. It's oh, ass. Shit. <laughs> All right. I think we got a chance, dude. What's going on with my health packs? Oh, fuck. Was there a shop up here? Did I spend all my money? Fuck. You got this, dude. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, get fucked, both of you. Assholes. I don't know. I guess, uh... I'm going to try to take it a little slower this time. 
damn, the physics on those motherfuckers. <laughs> they just like fly in the air. All right. We're looking good. We're looking good. That's the cargo acquisition, right? Right? <laughs> dude. I don't know, dude. Are you lost? In I was the... thinking there's no crouch. I was thinking if there's a crouch button. There's no crouch button, right? No, 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 no. What, you think I could you think I could sneak mission this shit, dude? I was thinking if you could crouch, you could use your line gun to shoot those little baby things like you could get two for one smash. Mm. That would be cool. No, nope, no crouch. Resident Evil 4 didn't have a crouch originally, right? But I think I saw they're adding it. Yeah, there was no original crouch, but they're adding new mechanics. It'd be interesting. Yeah, it will be. Hopefully the Ashley bits don't suck so hard. Ashley doesn't have such a punchable face anymore, either. <laughs> She looks like a normal person. <laughs> Alright, so I got all the fucking... You know what? Is there a way I can save scum this dude? Because I don't want to collect all that shit again. You know? Mm-hmm. And as soon as I hit that thing, shit's gonna hit the fan. Save scum away, dude. Has to be one close by. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. We're good, then. Don't got to deal with that shit again. Because I'm probably not going to do it this time again. We'll see, though. Maybe yeah. Chapter 12 will just be an epilogue. That would be cool. I feel like there's going to be gameplay, though, dude. Alright, we're getting to it. Fuck it. Fuck it, dude. I think Isaac's getting paid right now. <laughs> you think he's on the clock? I think he is. I hope so. I think he's been on the clock since, um, I don't know. I don't know if the commute counts, you know? Just like real it's life. Gotta, dude. I don't know, dude. Not in real life. <laughs> hmm. Smacked. Dude, what the you know what you know what's fucked up, dude? You go the <laughs> whole game you go the whole game, right? No challenge. <laughs> and then they're just like, here's... Here's every enemy in the game. Fuck you. Remember the mechanics? You better. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, it's like... I've said that before, that um, I think that this game is much more of an action game than a survival horror, and throwing every enemy at you at the last second is very, like, Devil May Cry or Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little hard to deal with, dude. You get the rhythm. Okay, I gotta take out that big thing. Maybe I should use the contact beam on that big motherfucker. Hurry up. Alright. They're coming from everywhere, though. <laughs> yeah. I just have to get it across this fucking hot gate. Yeah, 
Yeah, fuck you. Nice. Fucked. Ah, fuck that. Ah, shit! <laughs> Why is he hitting? It's fine, it's fine. What is going on? Honestly. Trying to party, and Isaac's got to put a stop to it, dude. Dude, I'm the fucking cops. Fuck your party. Is that guy a regenerator? What's going on here? That'd be fucked up if they put a regenerator in here. That would be fucked up. Jesus Christ. Oh, tight. Proximity based. Nice shot. I'm getting the loot, dude. You know, I earned the loot. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I kicked that baby down the thing. Fuck. Waffle stomped him, dude. Lost my baby. Do we have to bleep baby <laughs> I don't think so. Does it mean something weird? I don't know. Maybe we should just to be safe. <laughs> Nobody will ever know what we said. Baby yeah. box. <laughs> <laughs> so the enemies just stop. I thought it was going to be a gauntlet, but it's fine now. All the time in the world. Unlimited enemies are always bullshit. I know, and that's what I thought was about to happen. But thank God. Now there's probably going to be more enemies. Who? I don't know where this dude came from. Whoa! Whoa! All right. Fuck off. I know. Contact beam's tight, dude. Yeah. It's pretty effective. Oh, here we go. Tight. Damn. Dude, this is intense all of a sudden. Yeah, not too spooky, but intense. Yeah, not not spooky. Just crazy. It's forcing me to learn the buttons. <laughs> Alright, we got some ammo. Definitely fucking plasma, so I'm gonna use that. Uh, let's see. This one might run a, uh, a little long. We'll see. Sure. Jesus Christ. Didn't I just fight this thing? Contact beam. Oh, sick. Tight. The cheap ambushes, you know? Yeah. Going up. Kind of. I'm kind of interested in the Lovecraftian horror that must be down there. Where all the tentacles are coming from. Oh, there's more horrors, dude. Don't you worry. It's 
that's like the whole point of the of the thing. Yeah. Like a deep space horror. But, you know, I guess we'll have to find out next time on Game Ghouls, dude. Fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, dude. Peace. Peace. Remember the mechanics? You better.